Our project is in cardiac pacemaker. When heart's natural pacemaker is not working properly, the heart may beat irregularly. Here is where artificial pacemaker comes in play. Cardiac pacemaker, a battery powered device is connected to the heart with a lead, a thin flexible wire that is inserted into a vein into a heart chamber. If heart beats too slow, pacemaker sends electrical impulses to one or more chambers to stimulate the heart's rate. Now the basic question arises how to generate a pulse electronically. First of all, let us study the basic components of a pacemaker. Resistor. Resistor acts to reduce current flow and also to lower voltage levels. Capacitor. These are the components used to store energy in the form of electric field. Unlike batteries, capacitors can get charged or discharged at much faster rates. Transistors. A semiconductor device having three electronical, electrical contacts named collector, base and emitter. Current flowing between collector and emitter can be regulated by changing the potential difference between emitter and base. Transformer A device working on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It is used to change the voltage of any alternating current input. Finally, we are at the point to understand that how a pulse can be generated. It is basically a power source connected with pulse generator which generates pulse periodically across the electrode. The operation during signal cycle may be divided into three parts. The turn-on period, the pulse period and the relaxation period. The turn-on period T0 occurs when V is applied to circuit. R1 and R2 provide forward bias and transistor Q1 conducts. Current flow through Q1 and primary coil L2 and of transformer induces a current through the secondary coil L1, increasing voltage across C1, providing more collector current and consequently more current through L2. Very rapidly, sufficient voltage is applied to saturate the base of Q1. And once saturated, the circuit can be defined as a series RL circuit. From T0 to T1, the voltage across L2 will, will be approximately constant. The pulse width depends on the time constant given by L2 by R3. At T1, L2 saturates. At this moment, C1 will now discharge through R1 and cut off Q1. Hence, collector current stops and as a consequence, the voltage across L2 returns to zero. This is pulse period. The length of time T1 and T2 is what the relaxation period is. Hi guys, thank you for watching our video on artificial pacemaker. If you did like the video, please share and subscribe.